a foreign affairs a 1948 american romantic comedy drama film directed by billy wilder and starring gene arthur marlene dietrich and john lund the film is about a United States Army captain in post-World War II Berlin, occupied by the Allies, who is torn between an ex-Nazi cafe singer and the United States Congresswoman investigating her. Director Billy Wilder thought that Marlene Dietrich must be the leading actress to play Erica, but he suspected she would be opposed to portraying a woman who collaborated with the Nazis. The reason was that during World War II, she made humanitarian efforts to accommodate German and French exiles, provide financial support, and even advocate their American citizenship. Upon completion of location shooting, he visited the hotel in Paris where she was staying to see her. The result was as expected. Her immediate reaction was a quick and vehement no. So he swad her with the promise that her songs in the picture would be written by her old friend and frequent composer Friedrich Halle Inder. Even so, she was not persuaded. He took out the last card. He showed screen tests of other actresses he claimed to be considering for the role. She looked dissatisfied with the screen tests. At that moment, he told her firmly. Marlene, only you can play this part. And she agreed with him. It is not clear whether director Billy Wilder actually showed her screen tests of other actresses, including June Havoc. But one thing is clear, he recognized her as the actress who must play the role of Erica. This example shows us that the strongest motivation to move people is recognition which is also useful when persuading someone. Here's a quote from Mary Kay Avsh, founder of global cosmetics company, Mary Kay. There are two things people want more than sex and money, recognition and praise. 